How does a stealth bomber with no tail stay perfectly stable even in rough air? I'm an aerospace engineer and at the core of the B-2's flight control system is the FCCs, the flight control computers, which blends the pilot's commands with real-time information from two key sensors. The air data system, which tracks airspeed, angle of attack, and side slip, and the attitude motion sensor set, tracking the bomber's motion and orientation. It also takes navigation and guidance inputs from the rest of the avionics suite to follow things like mission paths or autopilot commands. The FCCs constantly use this information to figure out exactly how each wing surface needs to move to keep the bomber steady. It sends these commands to the ARTs, actuator remote terminals positioned near the edges of the aircraft. Each ART controls redundant actuator loops that physically move the control surfaces. Spread along the wings, you'll find split drag rudders for yaw control, three sets of elevons outboard, middle, and inboard for precise pitch and roll, and a clever hidden surface near the center line called the gust load alleviation surface. Think of the GLAS as a built-in shock absorber for sudden gust. When the bomber hits a bump of rising air, the GLAS tilts to smooth out the extra lift. This whole digital system works non-stop, turning every pilot input and every gust into tiny, precise control movements that keep this tailless flying wing balanced and smooth.